Hey y'all, welcome back to the Southern Cottage. I am Connie and today we are working on my godson's garter. This is gonna go along with the, the royal sash and the butterfly quad. These are all siblings. It's all going to the same family. Their homecoming is September 1st. It is now August 11th. I want to get these done and get them gone so I can start working on something else. So let me show you how I'm gonna make this garter start to finish. Okay, if y'all haven't figured this out yet, this family is kinda special to me. <laughs> they not only have my same last name, but they have my godson and the girls work with me on caterings. And yeah, they're all just kind of special to me. So I have made, I made all of their cutouts at one time. So they're all the Anderson Shiro Owls. His name is Jack. He's an FFA and he loves fishing. Last year I actually put a fishing lure on his, minus the hooks, I made hooks out of chenille stem, by the way. Um, anyway, so they have their custom, his custom cutouts already. I'm gonna put these to the side and we are going to work on the base and the skirt. We're gonna start out with, this is a four inch base and this is a five inch flower. So, I know it's smaller than the flower. I'm just gonna have to make my loops. They're gonna be just fine at the six inch mark, but I need to place them closer to the edge of this so that they stick out far enough. And I went to my scraps that I have hanging up and I pulled out everything that I thought I could use. This is going to be a 12 inch skirt. It might go a little bit longer because I made this sucker so long. So we're probably gonna go to 13 inches, maybe on the front, so I have enough room for stapling. But I did have some stuff that was already pre-cut in the colors. Um, I don't need to hold on to these for any reason, so I'm gonna just go ahead and use these to put on here. I had some printed Mylar. We'll use this. And this, he loves football and baseball. If you have imprint ribbon that has words on it, cut those words apart. I'm gonna show you how to make ribbons with just one word to make your, uh, your roll last a lot longer. He's also an FFA. I had one of these, I don't know why, but I'm just gonna cut another one to match. I was gonna use that for some of my backer ribbon anyway. I'm going to cut this in half. And this is the last piece of this ribbon that I have, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and get it out of here. So the first thing we need to do for any of my backers is I'm going to take this and cut it in half to make the skirt of this garter because you don't need that entire thing. I'll save this for another garter skirt. I have a lot more coming. So I'm going to cut this one in half and that should give me, this is probably a 24 inch. And that's gonna give me 13 inches, which is perfect. And then we're gonna V cut the ends, might as well, while we have it in our hand. And I cut that part at an angle, so I'm just gonna have to V cut it to where that shortest length is, there we go. And I'm just gonna start putting these on as I get them cut. I'm gonna put this in the back. Somebody suggested that to me. So put another ribbon in the back to keep this stuff, which I hate. Y'all know I hate that stuff, to keep that from poking. So let me go ahead and pull. This is a wired ribbon, so I'm gonna pull the wire out if I can grab it. Come on. There we go. And if this one ends up being a little shorter than the rest of them, I don't mind. It's just a filler. And this is gonna have stuff 
in front, so you're really not going to see a whole lot of this ribbon anyway. Go ahead and measure out. Yeah, we're, we're, we're at 13, a little more than 13. So I'm going to cut this straight across up top, and then I'm going to V-cut the bottom while we have it folded so I can cut them both at the same time. This right here is why you do not get rid of any of your scraps. This and points and things like that. All right, I've got two layers right there. So let me go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna kick this out pretty far. And this is the part that I hung it up with. The hole that I put in it to hang it is not gonna be seen. It's gonna be stapled to the backer. We don't have a problem with that. Okay, I need something else to go down the middle. So let me go ahead and just put a blue in here. Let me get my rotary cutter. I love this thing. Cut it at 13. Let me go ahead and do two. There we go. We cut these, we'll attach them, and then put the honeycomb on. lay it out like this so we can see how it's going to be because I want to cover that hole. And when we hang it, it's going to completely cover it. So I'm gonna split the difference on these. So I'm gonna do half on the silver, half on the royal. And to, you know, make sure I can line stuff up if you're gonna be OCD like that. Put the edge of this one right in the V cut of that one. This needs to come in some. There we go. Okay. All right. That is my first, I call that one layer. I'm gonna go ahead and use these two blue. I don't have any more of this. So I'm gonna put these on the very outside so it will show. And I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. so far. Now I need to cut some white and some black. So I'm going to cut one white and two black at 13 inches. Put the white on top. That way it's easy for me to get rid of it. Okay. 
chop and drop season, guys. Chop and drop. So I'm going to do blue, black, white, blue, black, white. Get my other white one. some staples in here. That black is how it's going to be anyway. Let me put the white on. And it is a touch longer. There we go. Now I can start putting on the pretties. And I was going to use this. I think I'm gonna go with a little bit thinner one. So let me put that to the side or I go with my Mylar. That Mylar is so shiny. I'm going with the Mylar and I'm gonna cut three of these at 13 inches. I'm gonna have to cut this piece off because it's sticky. Let me go ahead and cut these two. So that is a smiley face. Y'all, I've stopped buying these. I'm just using up what I have because I find myself not using them as much anymore. But I am definitely going to use what I have. So I want to clean up this end. I don't. I like having a fresh end, and I don't like cutting off parts of that helmet. Top doesn't matter. The bottom definitely does. Okay. I am V cutting the Mylar silver but I am not going to V-cut the printed Mylar. There's no need. Silver everywhere. All right, we know we're gonna have one straight down the middle. We'll do one on each side, and then we'll split the difference with the two different printed Mylars. Let's bring these down. There we go. hold this up and just go ahead and staple them all together. All right. Here's the back. Okay. I completely forgot that I had this, but I really want to use it. So I'm going to add another layer. And then I think I'm going to use it to back these three things. So we have all of that stuff visible on his garter. They will be in the back, but when he moves, you'll be able to see it. And I will 
show football and baseball and basketball and all that stuff on his garter in a different way but I'm trying to use what I have to get rid of it. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and decut these. Now I'm going to show you what we are going to do with these smaller pieces. So this one says baseball. I'm going to go ahead and even this up. Make it touch smaller at the bottom. Okay. There we have a baseball. I'm trying to make these about the same. That way, when they're on each side, they will look the same. And then we're going to put an FFA on here. And I'm going to make this one just a touch longer. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take these, and if it was a girl, I would put some bows. I'm not going to do that to Jack, but I am going to put something on here. So I'm basically stapling these, and I'm going to kind of curl it because that's how it's going to lay. It's going to bow up just a touch, but you'll see in a minute when it lays down. It's completely flat. I need to bring this back so I can line these up correctly. I basically want the bottoms to line up. And I'm just putting these at the very bottom and the very top of these ribbons, the staples. Okay. Same thing on the FFA. It's a little bit longer, but I'm going to line up the bottom. That's a quick money saving tip for you right there. You don't have to use the entire length of your skirt in this printed ribbon. This printed ribbon is way expensive. Use it wisely. And this is just another place for you to put trinkets. Y'all remember Amistad? I paid a dollar for these. This is the perfect place to use these. It's also the perfect place to use the silver stars that we get at Hobby Lobby. Or since these are gonna be up here and in the back, you can use sticker stars. These are foam stars to do the same thing. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. So I have, this is my blue scrap bin. Let's see what all I've got in here because I'm sure I'll be using some of this on his garter. Most definitely. I love this blue. Look how pretty that is and the stars. Those are cheer, so we're not going to use those. And I'll put these up. Actually, let me go ahead and just cut a couple of these to go on this garter because we're definitely using them. And then that can be done with and out of my way. But back to what we were talking about right here. So here's where you can use, these are buttons from the paper studio. There's some buttons here that'd be appropriate for baseball. 
I am going to pull out some small pieces that I have used, uh, that I've cut off of some chains. And we're gonna use those to cover up these staples. And we're gonna use the pretty part. Make sure this one goes on the baseball and not the football. That looks really cute right there. And then we can take an all-star and put it at the top here. And this is a cut up piece of chain, y'all. Do not get rid of your scraps. I'm telling you, they come in handy. All right, that one is done. I'm gonna move it over here. All right, now let's talk about football to cover these. And it doesn't have to be specific to football, but it definitely can be. I'm gonna leave that on there <clears throat> because that would be, uh, <coughs> that would be, it would leave a mark and you wouldn't be able to cover that up very well, so. Football helmet there, and then let's put something up top here. choose that that says football. Why not? Now you've created a ribbon out of scrap 100% except for this. <clears throat> FFA is going to be a little different. I think that is the place where I will use some of the stars. Okay, while I was putting everything up, I went ahead and pulled out a football and a basketball. I'm gonna go ahead and hang these on there, so we'll put those to the side. And these are the stars that we get at Hobby Lobby at Christmas time. One's going on the top, one's going on the bottom. I pulled that sticker off because we don't trust that. <laughs> And on these stars, they don't go completely across, but what I like to do is put the widest part right there, and it looks like it's covering it completely. So that one's gonna go in the middle. Like I said, these are gonna be in the back. I'm not real worried about it. This is just actually some extra filler and me using up my stuff. You don't have to do this. I would use this blue because I love it so much. There we go. Now we are going to start working on the braids and things. Okay. So... I've gotten this far <laughs> and I am going to just lay these out to see where I want this to go. So I made this too big, but I am still going to use it. I'm just going to put it on a smaller backer ribbon and I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'm only going to go down the middle and I'm attaching it to this sparkling. And I'm just going to make sure that the main area, not the ones that stick up or down, is kind of lined up right there. And I did cut this a little bit longer. I cut that at 15 inches. I'm fine if it hangs over a little bit. I do not have a problem with it. I just want to make sure 
that it's showing because, you know, we all know these are a little extra. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that, I know that's going in the middle and I also know these are going on there. So let's hang it down and put it on there. Put these on. Put a staple right through that sucker. There is not a problem with that. It's only ones like these that you can do that with though. Just warning you. Okay. Now that hanging off his arm is gonna be just fine. I might curl it a little bit so that when it hangs, it will hang correctly. Most of the time, you don't want your stuff to curl. There we go. Now, let's look at some of the braids that I already have done that could work on this. So, this is a victory braid. A larger one. Here's another victory braid. That's a smaller one. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to lean towards this one. Uh, this is part of a bubblegum chain. And, and then I have this one that is small. Short. Not small. It's wide. I think this one is a no. I think that we do this. We go with some bulky on the sides. And then we do, or we do the bulky beside there and do the flat on the sides. That might be. So I need another braid to go here. <clears throat> Let me see what I can find to go there. I might just have to make one. Okay, I have changed my mind on most of these braids. <laughs> I want to use this one, but I'm going to cut it in half because I'm going to put it on both sides. So let me find the middle here. And this is how you adjust braids to length, guys. You need to staple on both sides of where you plan to cut. Put at least three and then cut in between. And now you have two different braids. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So I'm going to need to attach a piece of something to the top of this. Let me grab some silver ribbon. Actually, let me just grab a scrap because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to trim that off because we don't need to see that. And I'm going to go ahead and attach that right there. think I'm going to do is pull this piece off and use this diamond dust so it matches on both sides. There we go. Now, I'm, I'm going to drape, <clears throat> and I don't normally drape guys' garters, but if I do, this is going to be the one to do it on because Jack doesn't care what Aunt Connie does. He does, but they always like it. So, I am going to use the Triple Threat. This is a Bubble Military Mobius all 
separate it together. Stretch it out a little bit that way whenever I curve it. Let me see. See which way it curves the best. And that looks just fine. And I don't mind, you're, you're gonna know. You know that this says homecoming, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and let it curve like that, or it'll curve nicely like that as well. Try it both ways, guys. All right, now I need something to go here and here. I've already got this on here, so I need something with some substance to go in here, and I need to figure out what that's gonna be. Okay. I have finished braiding. It ended up only being about 19 inches long, which is absolutely fine. I'm going to cut this in half, which means I need to put some staples on both sides of where I plan on cutting. another staple right there and then to make it long enough I'm gonna add just another piece of the black that we braided and we'll put something on top of that same thing over here And then we will attach it to our garter. And that was my last staple. I could feel it. All right. I'm gonna hang that down about the same as this one because we have plenty of room. Yep. Time for some staples. Y'all, I used to break these staples because I couldn't figure out how to get, it wouldn't go in this way. I couldn't fit a whole thing in there that way. Well, come to find out, if you put them in this way, you can fit a whole rack in there. Learned that one from Hyla. Learned a lot of stuff from Hyla. that back on. There we go. Trim that off. Same thing over here. I've seen a lot of questions about what braids are manly. These are all manly. Manly. <laughs> but I want to say something else, y'all. Why are we worried about manly braids? And I've, I've done this myself. You know, I've done it myself. What is manly? But I, I'm sitting here thinking, why are we worrying about it? The guy is putting a big old flower on his arm. There ain't nothing manly about a flower. So why are we worried about manliness on the stuff that's hanging down? Anyway. All right. This will be draped like that. And I think I'm gonna leave those just like that. All right. There we go. Now. I think I want to go ahead and attach some of his custom cutouts. I'm probably going to save the owls for his flower. Might be too big. And I don't want it going down like that. Let me just pull out everything I've got going on here. Maybe we'll do Jack across this flower. That's kind of perfect. That is the perfect size. Y'all, I just make these things. 
And the bad thing about it is I don't sit and measure. I don't do that um, because I, I don't think about it. <coughs> so I need to probably do that. So I'd rather be fishing. It's going to go here. We will put FFA there. Jack's going to go on the flower. I need something else to go down here. And I need to figure out whether owls is going. The owls can go on here. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add this on because I want some more on here. And I might even add this on. Even though I already have... No, I'm not going to put that on there. Changed my mind. Don't know if I'm going to put that on there either. We shall see. But I do have... Let's do that. Let's do the ladder and this. Yep, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to staple it on before I change my mind. I'm going to put the ladder just a little under because it's a flat braid for the most part. There we go. And I'm going to put some bling down it. I'm probably going to use some black bling. Let me do that before I attach it to keep it straight. I want it to stay straight. So let me staple that all the way across. I'm not going to keep that little bit. All right. Let's get the bling. And I'm going to start at the bottom. And I do believe I'm going to put glue on every single one of these because I want it to help hold this braid straight. And again, I might still have to put something heavy on the bottom to help hold it down more. We shall see. It just naturally wants to twist. Yeah, it helps a bit. Let's bring this back over. That will hang that way. There we go. I like it. And this one, I want to bring... I don't know what I want to do on this one. Maybe we bring this bling over there and just do like every other one on the white with a black flower. And while this is on here, I'm gonna go ahead and burn four of them at a time. And then cut as close as I can. not too, too girly. Let me start here. There we go. 
All right, that's what we're gonna do. That way we're getting all three colors on this one braid. And this, y'all remember, is a store-bought braid. I don't like making these bubblegum chains, but I will certainly add them to a mum and bling it up. Okay. I think so. Now let's add some stuff. The owls is going to go on that. We need the big ones on the outside, so I'm going to go ahead and attach this here. Because he'd rather be fishing. Put the FFA on this one. I need to trim that piece right there. There we go. And then we have this owl. It's going to need to go on something. I think I'm going to put it over here. So I have three more places that need a little something. Okay, I went and pulled out some trinkets. We kick butt our team rules and a homecoming ticket. They all come with these little holes on the top. If you're not gonna use those, pop them off. I hate seeing a trinket glued onto something with that thing still stuck to it. All right, I'm going to put these on the bottom of the militaries. These are going to add a little bit of length to these braids as well. And then I'm gonna put the homecoming ticket. I should have left this off. Let me just pop it off. Because I'm gonna put that homecoming ticket right at the bottom here. Now, they all have trinkets on them. This has bling. We don't need bling on these. Let me get some string to tie these with. Because I'm going to just attach those and I need to attach some football helmets and some footballs and some bells. Okay, I went and got some skinny uh, blue ribbon and some skinny silver. All of these aren't open. This is a satin. And I'm not going to tie knots on these, and I'll show you in a minute. Get my silver open. We're just going to 
double these ribbons up. Turn me loose. Okay. So basically, I am going to pop these off because that's the smart thing to do. Pull this up a little bit and put some glue on here so they're not going to pop off. One side is enough. You don't have to pop it all the way out because sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get it back in. Just pull it up enough to where you can get some glue where it's going to touch that metal. Just going to feed this through and cut it and if you want to it'll help you secure it a little bit better if you tie a knot at the top and you can staple right below that knot and that knot will keep that staple from coming loose I'm not going to staple them down just yet because I don't know where I want them to hang that's got a tiny little hole, so does this one. So we'll use this. So this way, you don't have to add anything to cover up a knot that you've tied here, because there's no knot. And you want to vary your lengths One more I'm going to need to do in the silver is this bell. I don't need to. I could. I'm adding some extra silver to show on here. And this just gives more movement. And I don't know if y'all recognize these. These are Christmas ornaments from Hobby Lobby. I bought them at the end of last year. Same thing with the satin. If you want to save on ribbon, but you don't want to tie a knot, another option you can do is fold it over and glue. Just bring it up enough to where you can glue it onto itself. Pinch it together. And there's no knot there. It's clean. And you can hang it. If you're going to fold it, make sure your fold is on the back side of the trinket. That's the front. This is the back. This is where I'm going to glue. Y'all, this ribbon is cheap. If you have to go a little bit longer, go a little bit longer. All right. Here's what you do. If your ribbon is wider than the hole is big, cut your ribbon into a point. And it goes right through. Now, I'm going to double this one because why not? This one is wide enough you don't have to tie a knot in the top of it. Alright, those are all of my hangy down things. So let me lay them out where I want them. 
I'm going to spread these ornaments out and then I'll spread out these. I think I want No, I need to switch these. There we go. There we are. Now I'm going to start stapling them at varying lengths. And here's what I mean. Put your staple right under that knot and it's not going to pull down. If it catches on something, that knot will catch on the staple and it won't pop off on you. All right. So I'm going to make that one long and this one shorter. There we go. This ribbon is wide enough where you can get a staple crossways in it. Make sure that when you hang it on there, you put the folded part on the back. <laughs> Same thing on that one, which is why, you know, just doubling it like this one works just fine. <laughs> Just because I know this family and I know they are extra, I am going to take an entire packet of these. This is, was a dollar, y'all. This whole packet is going on these braids. I'm trying to do as much of this on video as possible so y'all can see everything. Y'all know how to make a military braid. Or if you don't, I do have a video showing how to make one. I have videos showing how to make all of these braids that are on here. You can search homecoming braid tutorials and that'll take you right to them. Okay. There's a bunch of big ones over there. The shoe. Let's switch that one. And then I might just put the number one. Let's put the number one on this football helmet. How about that? Now, Jack is in fifth grade or sixth. Y'all don't get me to line. Doggone it, Connie. There we go. And I'm just going to spread these out on the sprayed. Make sure my football is right side up. These are tiny and cute. I love them. I got them in black and white, too. They didn't have the right color green, I don't think. I'll have to go look. I may have gotten some in green. I think I got some in every single color. I don't know. I'll have to go look. I'm just not going to do that right now. But the size is fantastic. Okay, I know for a fact that Jack is securing his masculinity, so we are going to put some bows to cover up some of these things. They're not going to be huge. Mostly, they're going to be bow tie bows, and I think 
think I'm going to use the black. Okay, so I have decided that I'm not putting any bows or anything else on here until I make the mum head. And I'm also not attaching the drape until I make the mum head because I need to see where the actual loops are going to hit on here. So let's work on that. Okay, so I'm going to be real upfront and honest with y'all. This is my bucket from last year. And I have twisted loops in here. So I'm going to use these because I already have them made. I will show you how to make one. And um, I am not the best at it. <laughs> so I am going to get a six inch piece. Sometimes I use a little bit longer than six inches. And you're going to put something on the back too because both sides are going to show. So flip it backwards, flip it forwards, and put a staple. That is a twisted loop. Hold it flat, flip it down, and then flip it forward. One last time. Flip it back away from you and then towards you. Okay, that is how you make a twisted loop. Took me ages to get this down. Flip it back and then towards you. Easiest thing in the world. Took forever to get my mind straight. Okay, I told you earlier this is a four inch thing that would be a backer and I am going to lay these out how I think I might want them I'm not stapling anything right now because I know I'm gonna have to make additional loops Okay, yeah, so I'm going to make some loops to go around the outside. I'm only going to end up using six of these, which is crazy, but I might actually use these to make like little bows to go on top of some of my braids. We shall see. So let's move those out of the way. And I am going to bring in... blue and black and I might alternate white so maybe three black and three white with the blue on the top of them we're gonna cut these at six inches There's all my base loops. Let me get my blue accent. I love my cutting mat. Two more. Okay. Now, I'm about to pull out my washi tape. I've talked about using washi tape before, but I've never actually shown you. Yep. 
me make sure I don't have one on here that I'd rather use. No, nope, we're going to use that one. It just says art project tape. It's washy, guys. It's washy. So I'm just, uh, don't even think about it. I'm going to try and center this as well as I can. And cut it. Might be easier to put the washi down the whole length. I don't know. Sometimes trying to go that length and keep it even is harder. All right, I'm just going to layer. To make my loops. Where's my stapler? There it is. And if you want to, you can cut that off. I don't worry about it. Even if your washi tape is the cheaper kind or it's older, you're putting a staple in it anyway. Your staple is going to hold it on there for you. I wouldn't worry about it coming off. And if you use this to go down a length of ribbon, if you're trying to make a bling string or something, just put a touch of hot glue at the start and finish of it. these on here. So this is going to be a little different than how I normally do since I'm alternating. Okay. This is how we're going to do it. I'm going to come to the edge. Let me take my flower. I want to make sure that I have plenty showing, and I do. I'm going to put one staple in the middle. Now, since I'm alternating the colors, the white is going to be directly across from this black. And I'm just looking to see if they're about the same distance. this on here and see. Yep. Okay. Same thing again, about the same distance on the deal, on your backer. The deal, you know what I'm talking about, guys. This is directly across from that. So I am going to make sure I line it up with this one. And then I'm gonna line this last black one up with the white one that's directly across from it. And that is how you alternate your colors. Now. I'm going to take 
and figure out how I want these on here. Do I want them on there like that or like that? I think I want them on like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. In between each one of these, and I'm gonna put the point right at the bottom, right where these connect so I know there's plenty of space. And every once in a while, throw your flower in there. Make sure you're seeing your loops, especially if your backer is smaller than your flower like mine is. And then make sure you lay your loops the same because they have different sides. They look different from one side to the other and you'll definitely notice it on your mum head. There we go. Super simple, but super cute. I think I still need something behind here. I really do. I want something else back here, and I don't know what I want behind it. think I can just glue something on right here because there's not a whole lot of room to staple because I tried to get these at the very edge and I don't want to glue anything on the back because that's where I'm going to attach my garter and I want to make sure the garter is attaching directly to this backer so let me see wonder let me see what this would look like. So I'm gonna cut these, I'm gonna cut three of these at six inches. And I'm just gonna make some points. Yeah, I need six total, so. I try to make my life easier. So this is what you're gonna do. Take your six inch, fold it in half. You can crease it. And then at, on the creased end, just bend it over and do a V cut. And you have two points at one time. There we go. Now, let me see. Yeah, that is what I'm gonna do because it needs a little something back there. All right. So I'm gonna pull this forward, put a little bit of glue right here and then I'm going to put some on the back of this, and it's going to kind of sandwich this in between. There we go. I like. There's 
there's always ways to fix stuff, y'all. 99% of the time, you can fix it, you can add to. Last one. There we go. I like that so, so much. Yeah. Now I think I want to put some bling on here. Ha! <coughs> Let me find some manly bling to put right here. Okay, I got this at King Dollar. And I think I'm gonna cut out some squares. That, let me try it, let me see what it does. Cuts really easily. I'm gonna do it just like that, okay. Let me get my tweezers, cause I know I'm fixing to burn the heck out of my hands. Yep, I don't mind that at all. in a circle and it's kind of making it a little bit difficult for me to see which way it's going. All right. I might keep this out and use this to cover some of the tops of my braids. I think that would work really well. Now, all this mess is covered. There we go. That is sufficiently blinged and ready to go. Not too girly, but it's a dang garter for homecoming. So we're good to go. All right. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and attach my garter to this. I will attach the skirt. All right, since Jack is younger, his arm is not huge. He's a pretty tall kid, but he's not huge. 
I am going to leave it wrinkled up like this, okay? And if you were doing it for a girl's leg, unless it's a tiny girl, you're gonna wanna staple it with the back part stretched out to give them a little bit more room. So I need to determine how this mum head is gonna sit on the skirt before I know which way to put the garter. All right, there. I think I, I, I just set it exactly the way it needs to be. I like the white. And look how the silver just comes down in there. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna go across from this white to this white, and that's where I'm going to attach the garter. And I'm gonna do it before I put the flower on. <coughs> and I am going to put it up towards the top of the arm And then that's gonna leave this bottom part open for me to attach the skirt to. And it's gonna leave this open for me to put my chenille stem through. And then we'll sandwich all of that between the clean backer. All right, let me get my stapler down in here. I want to get right, doggone it, see I already turned it. And you want to put your seam back here too. You want to hide your seam under your clean backer. That seam will irritate if it is on the part that's going on your arm. It just makes it more comfortable for the kid. Worm my way through here. There we go. Making sure I'm not stapling through any of my loops where I don't want to. And I like to go right to the edge. Because that, that way, when you put your clean backer on, y'all, this is crooked. I didn't mean to do it that way. But you get what I'm saying. That way, when you put your backer on, you get a nice seal. So I'm gonna get as close to that edge as I can. And then I'm gonna come down and grab this. There we go. That is attached. Okay. Now, let's attach this sucker. And I am going to, first I'm gonna trim some of these pieces because I don't want them hanging off there. All right. And I am going to line the white up going straight down. And then I'm going to match up the circles from the holes. Check your front. That is lined up. Make sure you're not messing up your loops again and staple the heck out of this thing. Now I'm going to go at it from the other side. The staples on this are ridiculous, but it ain't coming apart. I can guarantee you that. Okay. We are attached. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my flower. Let me move this, this away. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me make sure my stem is ready to go in when I put the glue down. 
And I don't want any glue going in through there because I don't want to glue down my garter. And I put a ton of glue. Ton of staples, ton of glue. All right. Chenille stem straight through the back and squish. Dang it, y'all. You know what I forgot to put on here? <laughs> oh, my goodness. My drape. See, y'all, we all, we all make mistakes. <laughs> now, let me figure out how I'm going to fix this one. Because I forgot my drape. And the funny thing is, I can actually just staple this to the tops of these. I could staple one here and one here, trim this off, and put one either bow or bling or something up there and cover up, cover up the tops of both of these. So, that might be a happy accident. We shall see. So, let me see. How am I going to do this? First thing I'm going to do is trim some of this off. Okay. I want it to curve where it wants to naturally curve, and it wants to naturally curve that way. All right. I have stapled it down so well tell you what it's going right here guys it's going to go at the top of on each side of the uh spirit braid and i'm going to cover each side up with one trinket let me trim up some of this excess here we're going to act like it was on purpose hilarious that I did that. Okay. That is secured. So, yes, my ridiculousness, but still, it's all on there. It all made it on. All right. I am going to put my clean backer on. I was able to staple all of this staple down this now let's put the clean backer on and this is where it gets a little bit tricky it's really not but you have to make sure that you open this garter up put lots of glue inside here and down here and make sure that you get all these staples covered up and if you can't cover all the staples with one backer so mine came down see how far down it is from there i did not intend on that doing that so i'm going to need to get another piece of a backer i'm going to just put this one right here and that way i know that those staples are covered so let me go ahead and take care of that right now it does not hurt to put extra on here And these, if you do um, poster board, there's a shiny side and a cardboard side or a papery side. Put the papery sides together. They hold a little better. Okay, now, whenever I place this, it will go all the way up and cover everything. 
okay? I will definitely be using some hyla holders up here and around this garter. I need to staple this one spot down. There we go. All right. Tons of glue. Hold your garter up out of the way or else you're going to glue that sucker down. And you do not want to do that. And make sure you go all the way to the edge with your glue. Clean backer inside the garter. hold them down. Let me get my clips. There's one. I'm just going to put them on there. Ouch. Don't touch the glue. Now, there is going to be a gap a small one, but there will be a gap where the garter sits. I've never had a problem with them coming apart because of that. So don't worry. Okay. That is the hottest dang glue. Let that sit for just a minute. It's not going to take that long. But do you see right here, there's going to be a little bit of a gap. That is not a problem. I'm going to fill that sucker up with some glue. And try to pinch it together. There we go. Now, we can finish adding our finishing touches and this sucker will be done. So I am going to put my owls right on here. Homecoming goes down the middle. I think I'm gonna do the owls right here on the side. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is very warm. <laughs> very, very warm. straight across with his name. And Hyla will stick a pair of scissors or something on top. That's too heavy. Let's try that. Oh, it's because it's kind of perfect, huh? All 
All right, y'all. It's almost midnight. I am going to stop on this for this evening. I will come back and put finishing touches on there tomorrow. I'll see you then. Just like that. Okay, I am back. And we're going to finish this up. We don't have a whole lot left to do. I was just going through trying to figure out where I needed some coverage. So, I know I need some here and here. And I'm going to just take these off of this pick. Let me get my snips. I don't even need snips. Let me see if I can just pull this wire out of there we go. And I don't need that anymore. There's some tape sticking out on the side. I'll just trim that off. These don't have to be used as spikes. They can be used anywhere. So I'm gonna put one here and one here. Just to cover up these staples. Instead of using a bunch of bows, I am gonna use one bow on the mum head. And that will cover up the staples there. And I'm gonna put a touch right here just to make sure that staple gets covered up. And I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. And then to cover these up, I'm just going to go use these foam stars. Get this one on. And I'm going to pull the adhesive, the cover off the back of this. And just go ahead and put some glue on it because we all know these adhesives don't stick as well as we need them to. And cover this up right here. Y'all, it does not have to be elaborate. It can be as elaborate as you want it to be. But every little touch you put on here just adds to it. And I forgot about that one. Okay. Let me get another star out. It's kind of hidden under this other, but I don't want that showing. I have a loose one hanging here. Yes, I got this one out. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put this under here on that one instead of grabbing another sticky star. Let me just use what I got right here. It's not going to be seen anyway. I just don't want to take the chance if during movement this shows. And there we go. And I am going to add one bow to this. And I made this last night while we were on. And I think I'm going to put it over here. It's a larger element. We have this off to the side. So I feel like if I bring this over here, it's going to kind of balance it out. So when I add these, I will take and put some glue on the chenille stem. And I am going to pop it right inside and I'm gonna push these flower petals around the chenille so it grabs. And it's hot. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> but I need to build up my uh, my fingerprints. Just go ahead and get rid of them now. And then I'm going to add one of the black flowers and put it right on top. And that is it. All right, y'all, that's it. Here's Jack's garter 
we've got his FFA, his football and basketball and baseball on here. We've got his fishing on here. And we've got the owls. Here's the back. I still haven't written my little note on there. But all of our staples are covered. It's nice and clean. And this will be great on his arm. There we go. We're all done. I hope y'all found this informative. Y'all, it's a flower on a guy's arm. I know some of them don't want bling, you know, but it's a big old flower on a guy's arm. It's meant to be bold and beautiful. So make it bold and beautiful. Do you do what they want, but y'all don't be afraid to add stuff to these. Jack's gonna love it. So is his mama. And his daddy's gonna love it too. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Click the bell so you're notified every time that I upload or that I go live. If you'd like to join our mom family, there's a link in the description. Uh, there's also a link to my Timu shop. Some of the stuff that I used on here I got from Timu. Um, I do get a little commission off of the first order, so feel free to use that link. I would definitely appreciate it. All right, y'all. I will see y'all very soon. Bye.